I still remember the first time I ever tasted alcohol, actually, but it was like the moment I tasted it, I was like, this is it. This is kind of what I've been looking for. And then I started drinking to the point of like blackout intoxication by the time I was like 12. Fast forward about 23 years old, 24 years old, I meet a woman who we just had so much in common. Then we find out that she's pregnant. And I kept saying, okay, I'm gonna stop drinking. I'm gonna stop drinking. And the day he was born, I stopped drinking. And I was just angry, right? I was like, okay, I can give up drinking and have a place to live, or I can live on the streets and, and continue drinking. And I chose to live on the streets. And so then that's when I found underneath the Ross Island Bridge, I started steadily staying in the same spot. And I lived there for about three months. The truth is that I didn't want to take time from chasing what I wanted to do to slow down and be a dad in any way, shape or form. So I wake up one morning underneath the bridge and I'd been on like a three day run, eating acid, drinking bottles of cough syrup, just at the end of my rope. I wake up and I just have this crystal clear thought. And it's like, you're 29 and you're gonna die alone underneath this bridge. I have something more for you than this. So I'd been to the mission one other time to get a meal and I'd been here one time to get clothing. And I came here and the gal who was volunteering said, uh, what's wrong with you, Travis? You look, you look horrible, what's the matter? And I said, I'm done. I just don't know what to do. And she said, well, maybe you should check out Life Change. I didn't come here for Jesus at all, but I started reading through the Bible for myself when I got here, and I just fell in love with Jesus. And he's been changing my life ever since that. When I first came to the mission, very, very early on, uh, my son started visiting me here. I just started reading everything I could get my hands on about parenting because this is the most important thing I, I'm ever gonna do. I just started soaking up everything I could, talking to anybody that would talk to me about how, how you parent. I came in literally with nothing. I had nothing except for the clothes that I had on. I hadn't seen my son in three months. I had no idea how to parent. I had, a, I had broken pretty much every relationship around me. Now, my son's five years old, he's gonna start kindergarten. I see him every week and my life is just completely, it's just a completely different direction. Now, having a son and sacrificing for him, I have confidence. My son is growing up to be a great man.